That Sumon is insane. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video this week. It's been one hell of a week. My goodness. Anyway, I'm just sitting at my desk. I see this card revealed and I'm just like, what the fuck is this card? This card is actually like bonkers. That's only a common for some reason in BT8. It's Betsumon. We need to talk about this card because the potential with this card is just 5,000 IQ enormous. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the notification bell to smash potatoes. That way you know what, whenever Digimon videos like this are uploaded and other videos too. I'm tired. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about this card. Do you think I'm overhyping this card? Or do you think the ceiling on this card is as high as can be? Let me know what you think. Let's look at the card. By the way, shout out to my Discord, where the Digimon TCG news, as well as other card game news, just populates as soon as it appears, so I can always see it. And anyone else following my Discord can also see it right away. That's pretty freaking cool! Let's me make cool videos like this. So yeah, Betsumon is a yellow level 5, 6 to play, which you'll never do, and 3 to evolve. Okay, better be freaking good. Well, it is. When evolving, you may discard one card from your hand. If you do, this Digimon is also treated as the color of the discarded card for the turn. Also, if it has two or more colors, draw a card. So basically, if you discard anything other than yellow, you draw a card. Also, it's a Digimon card playing with Digimon cards. How freaking adorable is that? That's super meta. Now, I just want you guys to use your brains for a moment and imagine a scenario. Imagine a scenario where you can play a yellow low-end curve in your deck, a bunch of good yellow rookies, champions, uh, and then you evolve into this thing, and then your top end is a completely different color. Something that can really maybe take support of the yellow cards, uh, and other future yellow support that we're getting at some point. Uh, just think about that. We're heading into all this dual color support, so it might s make a card like this seem kind of irrelevant, but you can literally play whatever top end you want. You can play yellow blue, yellow black, yellow red, yellow purple, I, I guess that already exists with Mastermon, yellow green, whatever you want. You can play it because of this card. The only requirement is the deck building requirements, and you have to have enough cards in your deck to kind of discard the right color card so you can automatically evolve it into the right card. That's pretty stupid. You also need to be able to have enough memory to evolve into it in the same turn because it only keeps that color until the turn. So as soon as the turn ends, it's back to being a yellow card. So you need like a memory tamer or something, or memory boost, which really isn't that hard. So yeah, this card is insane. You can literally do so much with this card. We have so many different cards that have been announced from BT8, and this is applicable into even older strategies, BT6, BT7, hell, BT5. This card literally unlocks the doors to a lot of deck building creativity and a very high ceiling. Thanks to Yellow. That's, that's, uh, shout out to Yellow. I don't really want to harp too much on this because it's already midnight almost and I'm just tired, but you know, this card is stupid. This card is just so good. This, this is a really good card, guys. Anyone that thinks this card doesn't have potential needs to get their brain rewired and checked. Because you're wrong. Let's go back to the screen for a second here. Imagine just evolving this card and then maybe evolving it into freaking... Oh, where is it? Where is it? This freaking thing. Because why not? Why not? And that's just one example out of so many examples. It's so insane. It's, it's literally insane that you can actually kind of just do this. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Cards like this make me really happy with the direction of the Digimon card game. Because it's showing that, you know, Bandai and their card control, they're thinking about deck building and they're thinking about different ways to merge mechanics together. And this is a really good way to do it. This is a really good way to take some of the lower end yellow stuff and stick it into a top end of any other color and see what kind of combinations and combos we can figure out. Uh, my, like, it's, it, yeah, I can't talk anymore. Before I say anything else and, like, ramble, ramble, ramble for no reason, we're gonna just call it a video here. But seriously, let me know what you guys think in the comments, because this is insane. This card is really good, 
and I can't wait to play with it in BT8. That's all I got. See ya.